everybody and welcome to Mother Cat Crochet. I'm Christina and today I'm going to show you how I do my um, crocodile mittens. Uh, fingerless mittens or fingerless gloves. Uh, super easy crocodile style. I'm using uh, this. I think it's red heart stripes. And I got this from Teresa at Teresa's Little Trees little trees treasures <laughs> uh, when we did a swap um, last spring so I'm using this one and um, I think it's for a could be a five millimeter hook perhaps I think I'm going to use my favorite hook and it's a seven I think I'm going to do because I don't want it too stiff so that's what I'm doing. So uh, first off, I do um, uh, I just now it just went out of my head. Uh, magic loop, perhaps it's called. <laughs> oh man, uh, I crochet three, four, five. I think I'm going to do. Uh, 27 and see how uh, far it goes in my hand. And 27. This is how far my. Right. And then I just measure it. Because if you could use any yarn you want or any hook you want, you just have to get a feel of it and how far up on the arm you want the gloves. So I think 27 for me, that's the trick. And then I just do. Uh, double crochets and, and I start in the third stitch from the hook. There is my first double crochet and then I just do double crochets all the way to the other side. And I just uh, wrap the yarn and go through my chain pick up the yarn, go through two, go through two, and then I start over. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, since I, I'm actually, I'm legally blind. Uh, in the States, they would call me legally blind. In Sweden, I'm at blindness four. And um, when you're totally blind, that is uh, the next step. So that's why I'm not watching. I'm seeing with my fingers. So that was tight. <laughs> uh, so I don't have to watch what I'm doing because uh, my fingers are doing the trick. I think that's why I like to do, um, to use um, no, smaller than a four uh, millimeter hook because then the stitches get so tiny so you can't or I can't feel them so that's what I like to do I love my five and I love my seven lost thread so soon I'm coming up to the end and if you are bothered by the sounds in the background, it's just my washer. And I've got my schedule to keep. <laughs> uh, you know, the kids are away and I have to do some house cleaning while they are away. So it can at least be clean for a couple of hours. <laughs> you know, the whole house is full of kids when you got four kids from between the ages of two and a half and ten. And then there's a lot of things 
floating around the house <laughs> and the dog. <laughs> um, so now I'm mm, I think I'm at the yes, I'm at the last stitch. And so this is what it looks like right now. It's just a chain of 27 and then I do half or double crochets in every stitch and I start with a third stitch from the hook. Uh, and then I do three chains and turn or turn and do three chains. Either way is super. And then I'm on to row two and this is where the fun begins. <laughs> so now I'm doing a, a front post double crochet. And instead of doing the double crochet in the stitches, in this stitch and in this stitch, we are going around this post. So I um, wrap the yarn around the hook and then I go in between the first and the second uh, double crochet, go behind the post and then out on the other side. So this is how it looks on the back side and this is how it looks on the front. And then I pick up the thread, drag it through around the post and then just do an ordinary double crochet. Wrap the yarn, find the next post and just go behind it like this. So you have the post on the hook, then you pick up the thread, drag it through and just do an ordinary, ordinary double crochet. Uh, there are probably a ton of videos uh, showing you how you do the front post double crochet much better than I showed you. So that is what I'm doing all the way to the other side. And when I do the last one, um, there is one uh, double crochet left. And uh, in that gap, uh, we can call it, I just do an ordinary double crochet. I'm gonna show you in a second. These <laughs> mittens or gloves are going to be gorgeous in these colors and they are going to be mine. <laughs> uh, got a black rain coat, a rain jacket, so that will suit just fine. And then I have to buy a new winter jacket, I think, because mine is gold. So Perhaps I'm going to buy a purple. I like colors, but it's fun to have just a plain color so you can put all these lovely colors up to it. Yeah. When it's winter here, we get quite cold. In the southern parts of Sweden, we don't have polar bears here, <laughs> but it gets quite cold uh, and at the coast, where I live, uh, it often gets very humid, so it's very, feels very cold. It just goes right through you. So then we want hats, gloves, big scarves, socks, you name it. And then it's quite fun to have all these vibrant colors. I like it. Now I'm up to my almost last. This is my last. Um, double crochet so I'm going behind it and dragging it through and doing a double double crochet and then I got this last gap because this is my last double crochet and then I'm just doing an ordinary double crochet in that gap and then I chain up three and turn I got my first crocodile ripple and then it's just the same, every row, front double crochet, front post double crochet, all the way back. And I do this for, how many rows could it be? 
uh, when I have my starting thread on my right, I can count nine ripples up. Uh, and I think that's good for my hand. So when you, when you crochet and do this, you might just try it on pulling it through uh, or uh, together around your arm or hand. And uh, then you're good to go. When you're, can, you can close the two parts around your hand, you're good to go. And as all good chefs, we've got one sample almost ready. <laughs> so this is how it's going to look when it's more uh, upward. So I just do this uh, rectangular uh, shaped thing, just going up until it's, uh, for me, when the starting thread is on your right, I can count uh, nine ripples up so this isn't finished but nine ripples up and when i do that i just um, fold it and uh, the last mitten i did i did a slip stitch or a slip stitch together for seven stitches down and then i just slip stitch in one of the sides and i do that for four stitches because that's Quite good for my thumb uh, and then I just continue and I count on the other side to jump over four stitches and then in the fifth I continue slip stitching it together all the way to the end cut off the thread and uh, just sew in the ends and then you got your mittens let me get my so this is the one I showed you last time. Uh, I've sewn it together and I did seven stitches down here, slip stitch seven, uh, slip stitch, slip stitched <laughs> just on one of the sides for four stitches, counted out four stitches on the other side and started in the fifth and just continued slip stitching it together. And voila, I've got my crocodile style fingerless mittens. I love them. The kids love them, the girls, uh, both the 10 year old and the nine year old loves it. And now it's time to do one for the 50 year old. <laughs> so we all love it. It's, it's quite fancy. You can do it in Thick woolly yarn, uh, this is in acrylic, uh, you can do it in cotton if you want to have it uh, not so hot or warm, you can do it however you want. So just to keep on hooking and you got yourself some fingerless mittens. Bye! This is how far I've gotten on my <coughs> newest crocodile. So. Here is my starting and then there's one, two, three, four ripples. So I got five left, but look at this color change. It's so lovely. Thank you, Teresa, for the yarn. It is so super lovely.